Good morning, everyone. Good morning. We're back. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, if you watched the last episode, which we did almost two months ago, you'll know, you know that we, la last time we said that that was the last time we'll be doing online school. I mean, yeah, yeah. online shows. Um, I also said online school. So, sorry if you did watch that video, because, yeah. well, as you can clearly tell we're doing this. yeah we're back doing family time online and that's because uh, we're all trying to be safe i know uh, yeah all, yeah yeah all of us are back doing uh, online school i lost two teeth and in the meantime hannah lost two teeth mm. yeah so we didn't expect to be back here but we're going to make the best of it we're going to continue to learn and, and grow together and uh, and hopefully be encouraged by by god's big story uh, now, if you remember our format from before, we're going to start off with a game, a memory verse. We'll look at our question for the day. It used to be day. memory verse. It used to be memory verse game. Yeah, Qu question, and then we'll look at our big God theme and, and our big God story video for the day. So let's start uh, with our game today. It's a brand new one. <sighs> Like we're, like we're playing a board game together. So if you have a dice, you can either play it uh, short or long. Uh, we're going to play the playful so that we're going to take our six-sided dice and have our four, five, and six count as one, two, three. And we'll see how uh, how we go. We can, get, Especially after we've been inside doing online learning all week, this gives us a chance maybe to get up, move a bit. And uh, so we're going to play this game together. Okay. Bye. I do not want to land on that yellow square. Touch, yep. Touch your nose with your, your tongue. tongue. Oh, yep. I can't do that. I, I have a really short tongue because yep. I can't do that either. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna play the game now. And so Hannah, you wanna you wanna have the have the first. The yellow roll? one is like go back to the start for. Mhm. Mm yeah. All right. Okay, roll speed. One. One. All right, clap, yep, clap your hands. Okay, so Nathan, you go next. One also. <laughs> shake your foot. You can't see it right now, but shaking feet. We're shaking feet. Okay, so Hannah, you go next. Please don't be one. Please don't be two. Right? Four. That counts to one as well. So turn. Oh, wait, wait. Let's get up. Turn around once. Twice. Oh, one. Twice. All right. And down. Okay. My chair is Okay. Oh, we'll get that. Turn around. Okay. All right. So you you do the next. Five. So that counts as two. So one. Two. All right. Touch Yoy. your toes. Yeah, gotta touch my toes. Da, da, da. Okay. No, really. yeah. just raise your oh. leg and touch your toes. Yeah. You actually have to, you know. Okay. I will, got you a couple can't coming up. You just pretend to, you know. Um, one. Oh, got a hot flight with frog. Please go get one. Please go get one. Oh, one, four. two, three, four. There we go. Please go get one of. Oh, right. This is up to you, buddy. Right. Up, oh, hold on. You get a hot flight with frog. Please go get one. Six, so it's three. Bow for applause. Please applaud. Okay, and Hannah, we're going to finish or are we going to whistle? I can't, I can't whistle. whistle. I can't whistle. One. 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 Ready? There. No, you didn't whistle. There. No, okay. that well, was not whistling. One, no. more, one more roll. It's okay. I took. I didn't know how to whistle till I was like older than you. So don't worry about it. All right, gonna move on to our memory verse. All right. So we have a. a, a we actually, if you watched our online service a couple like weeks it. ago, before I got, before we had, all got a little sick as a family. Not COVID, thank the Lord. Um, <laughs> but uh, we, so this is our this is our memory verse, and let's say it together. And the Word became flesh and lived among us. And we among have, us. Among us. <laughs> and, among us. Yes, like the game. And we have seen his glory, the glory as of a father's only son, full of grace and truth. 
All right, so who do you think uh, this, this memory verse might be about, guys? Jesus. You think it's about Jesus? Well, I think you'll be right. It's from the beginning of the Gospel of John. This is the new, one of the, the, uh, the four stories that tell us about Jesus. And we're going to look actually be looking at that over, over the next few weeks. Uh, but to lead into our theme, we have to look at our question. So, sweetie, can you read, the, read our question today? And what is the question? <laughs> it is, what is your favorite way to be creative? And what's one, what's one of your favorite ways to be creative, Anna? Mm, putting paint on this, flicking paint onto a paper. Yeah, you're just, and you, you, like abstract art. Like abstract art. Yes, you like lots of different kinds of art, but you like abstract art the best, right? Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, my favorite way to be creative is making new strategies in Pokemon, like in the Battle Tower. Mm -hmm. Like, I remember my first strategy was actually very basic. Entonalus was Sludge Wave and Zacian. Mm -hmm. Since Zacian's about Steel type and Sludge Wave is a Poison type, means it doesn't affect Zacian. And in double battles, you can just hit a lot of Pokemon. Yeah, um, so lots of different ways that we have to, to be creative. I'm sure you have lots of different ways that you like to be creative i and, also like oh yeah i also like doing art as well yeah art's a great way to be creative yeah. uh and so and it, also especially good at it yes yeah, so let's see how this leads into our big god theme let's let's get our big god theme machine going again and find out that theme we have so you can tap tap our our laps and get that get some energy to get the big god theme machine going Mario, i thought the the dice was for the this. You thought it was no, it's for the game. So let's let's see if we can get that big god theme machine going. Ready? One, two, three, and go. The theme is. Jesus created everything, so that was so that was was definitely about Jesus. It definitely was about Jesus, and we'll see how that's going to uh, to work out. That we remember, Jesus isn't just somebody who lived mm. for a period of time. We he believe, lived forever. Yeah, indeed, that because he's uh, God's son. And we actually find out that Jesus has been around from the very beginning, and we're going to find yeah, that out. Yeah, yeah, he has been from the very beginning. In our video um, today. Do oh, you have a question, sweetie, before we start? No, okay. This week in the Big God story, we are heading back to the beginning. Back to when there was only darkness and our God. Before there was anything else, there was God the Father, God the Holy Spirit, and God the Son. Three ways of knowing God, but still only one God. Then God created the world and everything in and around it. And when God saw it all, God called it good, because it was good. It was perfect until people let sin into the world. And even after we had wrecked what was good and perfect, God still promised he would make everything right again. And then, true to God's promise, when the time was right, Jesus, God the Son, left heaven and came to earth as a normal person in the most unspecial way there is. The son grew up as one of God's people, but he wasn't accepted by him. All his life there were those who loved him and those who did not. But to those who did, to those that believed in his name, he gave them the right to be called children of God. 
Now God had given the people laws to help them know right from wrong and draw closer to Him. But as time went on, the people stopped using the laws for right and wrong and to know God and started using the laws to hurt others. When Jesus came, He taught us something new, something better. He showed us a better way, a way that was loving and honest, even when people made mistakes. Jesus had a very special relationship to God the Father, the most special anyone could ever have, and he never kept it to himself. Just like everything else he had, he shared that special relationship with us so that we could know God the Father as well. The Son who was there in the very beginning and who created everything had become like one of us. Glory to God for his great plan. Jesus created everything. That's a, a lot of big ideas there, right, guys? Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's one of the special things that the Gospel of John teaches us about Jesus, because the other Gospels tell us that Jesus is God's Son. And and John takes a little bit more time to tell us what that means. And part of that is that, that Jesus was there with God in the beginning and with the Spirit, God the Father, God the Spirit, and God the Son, that God is is three, almost like three persons, but one one person, actually. It's kind of hard yeah, to yeah, wrap your like... head yeah, he's God, like the image of God. He's the Holy Spirit and Jesus while still only being one person. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's kind of weird. It's kind of, yeah, it's kind of hard to wrap our head around. But honestly, if God is bigger, so much bigger than us, we should probably expect that God is kind of hard to to, 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 to fully understand. And yeah. But one of the great things about this is it shows us that Jesus shows us who God is, that He's not just, uh, we call it Jesus, our Savior, our Rescuer, but he's also part of God's creating it, which means that the one who created it actually came and lived with us. That's it. Remember that verse that we did earlier? The word became, word became flesh and lived among us. Ew, yeah. flesh. Came like flesh and blood, like you and me. And when that word actually, that the Greek yeah. word there is actually lived among us, actually means pitched his tent among us. Do you remember when we used to go camping? Yeah. It's, it's like Jesus came and pitched a tent and lived here with us, like one of us, the same way that we do. The one who created everything came to be with us, to rescue us, to show us who God is. And that's the thing. When we look at Jesus, we see God. Whatever you can say about Jesus, you can say about God the Father and the Holy Spirit too. It's they're, they're, it's it's an amazing thing that we have that, and a, a great hope uh, particularly in times like these, that, that God came with us. The God who ate everything came and became one of us. That pitched, guy, God. Pitched his tent with us. So let's let's take a moment to thank God for the, the, the good news that we, we, we're, we're learning from the Gospel of John today. Let's, let's pray. Dear God, you are so much bigger than anything we can imagine. You made the stars of heaven, all the galaxies, the earth, and us too. And yet, in Jesus, we can know you, because Jesus is your son, a full part of you, along with the Spirit. Father, we thank you for this. It can sometimes be hard to understand, but the, the, the joy that we have in this is knowing that we can see you in Jesus, and that you are with us, no matter what's going on. And the one who created things in the beginning is also creating something good in our lives here and now. And we know this, that we share this good news with people as Jesus shared good news. We pray all this in his name. Amen. Okay, sweet. Bye.
yeah, we'll see you. Uh, we'll see you again next week. We'll we'll keep doing this as long as we're uh, we're doing church it's actually online. Saturday. Saturday, but we're you're seeing this on Sunday. So hope you guys have a good good uh, good time together. And, bye. and we'll see you again next week.